Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya. Well, uh, today we're going to do a subscriber request. Uh, I got a request to model a beanie and normally I would either do that in uh, Marvelous Designer or in ZBrush. The person requesting it uh, asked to do it in Maya because he doesn't have that software, right? So I'm going to try to do everything in Maya. Now that said, uh, we're going to hide this guy until we have something that we can kind of fit on his head. So uh, we're just going to hide it. Control H. We're going to take a simple polygon uh, cylinder. We're going to control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's go in here. 20 subdivisions is fine. I do want a round cap and let's do eight caps, eight subdivisions on the cap, right? I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to right click the face, drag select all of that. Make sure soft select is off, hit delete. That's our starting point. All right. Nothing too complicated. I uh, could have done that with a sphere basically, but I'm just making this up as I move along, right? Okay, so we're going to go into the top here. I'm going to right click at the edge, double click, shift, double click, double click, and double click. And we're going to hit a bevel. Let's do 0 0.2. And then we'll go in here and we'll right click, go to face, click and shift, double click, and do the same for the others. And we're going to hit uh, Control E to extrude, and let's do minus 0 0.1, which is a lot. Minus is 0 0.02. That would be better. Minus 0 0.01 even. Okay, cool. Now, once I smooth this, you'll kind of see a cross section on top there, and I'll show you what I mean. If I hit three, you'll get something like that. I think that's fine. I think it looks okay. Uh, if you don't want that, then you can add subdivision there. But I think uh, this looks uh, actually perfect. Now keep in mind, this looks extremely uh, non-organic right now. We're gonna address all of that, right? But for now, uh, that's what we got. Uh, next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another uh, cylinder. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna hit R. We're gonna push that down quite a bit and let's see let's give this guy some thickness first actually alrighty um, yeah sorry that I'm jumping all over the place but like I said I'm just kind of figuring out what I want right so I'm gonna delete the bottom there uh, control E to extrude 0 0.1 let's have a look That would be a bit much, 0 0.02. Let's hit three and see what we get. All right, so now we can still see our seams. We still have that little section on top there and that's actually exactly what I want. And you can see these edges, let's call them stitch edges, run all the way down, right? Okay, let's uh, isolate this guy or actually hide it for a minute. We're gonna hide this. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna right click at a face, get rid of all of those. So this is what we have left, all right? We're gonna right click at a face, select all of them. Control E to extrude, keep face together, turn them off, all right? Thickness, let's try 0 0.1, which will be something like that. And that is fine by me. And then an offset of um, 0 0.02. Let's see what that looks like. Now yeah, that should be fine. Right. We're going to go to object mode, hit three to preview smooth, which will give us something like this. If that's what you want, great. If not, hit one, go back. Injured edge loop, two, put two in there. Hit R, push them out, not all the way, because then it will look way too square something like that uh, hit enter hit q and then maybe we'll do uh two more and i'll just tell you why okay so there they are hit r and again pull them up a little bit q on the keyboard jump in this view right click face drag click the ones in the middle 
and like I said you want this to look a bit organic it's wool right it's not metal right so we're gonna hit uh, R to scale this out but we are gonna hit B for soft select and you want to make sure that the top and bottom of this is still red right then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna kind of fluff that up like so okay so now if you hit B to turn that off and you hit three for soft select, you'll get something looking like this, which is better. Then we're gonna go up to display and show all. This is our guy and this is the cap here. Let's uh, move this guy out of the way actually. We don't need them just yet. We'll take this, we'll hit W, we'll move it down after frame and we do need to adjust the size looks like of this guy which is okay did I give this guy some thickness yeah I did yeah all right so we're gonna take this we're gonna hit R we're gonna scale that in like so and raise it up a little bit okay then we're gonna go in here uh, in object mode we're gonna scale it so we're gonna kind of push that down a little bit until it looks all right and then we're gonna go in here right click at the edge double click all the way around and we're gonna hit B for soft select we're gonna hit R we're gonna scale that in until it basically touches right okay cool now again this looks very very non-organic not what we want right so let's fix that Let's go to this guy first. We're going to hit smooth. So go to mesh and uh, smooth to actually smooth it. Let's uh, set that to two. Why not? Then we'll turn off soft select this guy. Let's go to mesh and smooth as well. Let's set that to two also. Maybe even three on this guy. And you would retopo this anyway, right? So we got this all selected. We're going to go to mesh and uh, combine. Then we're going to go to edit, delete by type and history. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pull up our guy here. So we're going to go to display and show all, right? This is our dude. Yeah, we're going to move him down. Actually, let's move this up guy up. Why not? Yeah. And now you will see that a human head is not perfectly round. It's more oval shape, right? So let's first position it and scale it. And then we're gonna to start to look at the various angles until we're happy with the position. So hit E to rotate it. We're gonna scale it up a little bit. W, I'm gonna move it down to, I would say somewhere around there. And now if you look here, you'll probably see that there's gonna be quite a gap on the side there. Like I said, a human head is not round. Let's turn off that grid here. So we're gonna hit R and we're gonna to start to squish that in quite a significant amount. Starting to look a lot, lot better and it seems to be sitting okay on almost all angles on the front there there's still a little gap so squish that in that's even better on the back it's kind of pushing a little bit all right now it's still uh, doing that on the front a little, but that's fine because now we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna grab a couple of these faces up front. Hit B for soft select, increase that range. And I only want the front actually. So let me do that again. Yeah. And we're gonna increase that range and we're gonna slightly pull forward and push it down ever so slightly and maybe even tilt it back again okay on the back here we're gonna do something similar but we're gonna follow the flow of the head so we're gonna kind of push it in that direction okay now we're gonna make quite a few minor adjustments so we're gonna go in here for example 
make the impacted area way smaller. And we're gonna simply put in some little dents, if you will. This is world orientation. I want object orientation. So I'm gonna double click on this guy, go to object orientation. And I'm just going to throw in some tiny dents, if you know what I mean. Whatever you have to do to make sure it looks more like textile, if you will, right? So we'll do that here as well. That area is a bit too big. Now let's see how we're doing. Let's turn this off. Okay, now that's not good, as you can see, right? We need to keep that area a bit bigger, right? So if you want to impact something here, just make the adjustment smaller, right? You get the idea, okay? And let's see what we got. All right, well, it's not too bad. Um, if you want to give it a little bit more uh, style, if you will, maybe tilt it a little bit. And uh, maybe put it more at an angle on the guy's head, something like this. You get it, right? Okay. So here I would kind of pull this out a little bit if it's cutting into his head, if you know what I mean. And that's how you play around with that. Now, of course, this is uh, a quick tutorial, but that's how you would approach it, right? At least that's how I do it. Um, yeah, so uh, let me know in the comments what you think, whether it's useful or not. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't do this in Maya normally. I would do this probably in um, something like uh, Marvelous Designer, uh, maybe ZBrush, but you know, sometimes you need to do it in Maya. And when you do this, keep in mind that instead of 10 minutes to do this properly and to do it to your full satisfaction you would probably be spending maybe two hours on it right instead of 10 minutes All right guys well that's it uh hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did let me know in the comments hit that like button and so forth and so on and i'll see you in the next one okay thanks guys bye